What's up racers and collectors, CB here, and time for another episode of Cars That Make You Go Hmm, this time part three. So I picked up a bin just filled with all kinds of craptastic cars and toys today for 20 bucks, and I just had to share some of them with you, and let's get started with what's already my favorite. Look at this thing. Hello. Hello, gorgeous. Look at that. Now... I'll give you three guesses where this came from. Yeah, China. Because I'm pretty sure China thinks all of our cars look like this. And you, you remember the 90s when everything was all about aerodynamics and you know how it improves your gas mileage and makes it faster and everything? Well, does it get more aerodynamic than this? I don't know what's the front end and what's the back end. But here's what really gets me. Check this out. <laughs> construction department <laughs> this is apparently a construction vehicle because in China all cars that are yellow are automatically construction cars because how do I know this well this one's got a brother look at that butte huh again construction department so <laughs> this is just um what a way to start a video, right? But it gets it gets even better. It gets better. Get, get this. Not only do we have those on the construction site, we got this. That's right. This is a construction motorcycle. And, uh, yeah, apparently these work on the work sites as well. A, uh, an official construction Kawasaki Ninja. I guess is what that is. I, I mean, you scratching your head yet? I am. But this thing, this thing is just the granddaddy because you know what this looks like? This looks like a car that daddy gave to his son because daddy's a doctor and pulled this out of somebody's butt in the ER. Okay, let's move on. Moving right along, we have this nightmare. This is a Hot Wheels motorcycle that looks like a predator alien creature looking thing. Now I've said in the videos before that I love the Hot Wheels motorcycles. I think they're cool, but this thing is the stuff of nightmares. This thing is frightening. But what gets me is if you look underneath it, I don't know if you can read that or not, probably not. This came from McDonald's. This thing was in a Happy Meal. Does this thing make you very happy? Um, this is the creepiest thing I think I've ever seen. Cool colors, but look at the face on that thing. To pull this out of a Happy Meal is disturbing. I... Anybody else have one of these? I don't know. That, that's... I don't want to be seeing that thing in my sleep tonight. Okay, tell me if anyone else has seen one of these. We got a Sonic vehicle thing. And apparently you got this at Sonic. Maybe with some kind of a Happy Meal-like thing or something. But it's a tin that I does, does this hold your breath mints? Does this hold a, the few extra fries that you're saving for later? I don't know where this what the what this was, what the story was behind this. I mean it's kind of cool. It looks like the old soapbox derby kind of things. Um, what did you get inside this when you bought a meal from Sonic? That's what I want to know. Does anybody know this? I'm gonna hang on to this because I think it's kind of cool, but I would really like to know what the story is behind this um, and, and what was kept inside this. It looks like an Al uh, Altoid box on wheels to me. Um, leave your you leave your comments in the comment section because I don't I don't have a clue. Okay, I pulled this out of the bin. This, this is a, 
an unfinished car, it looks like. I pulled it out, and I thought, okay, it looks like part of a car missing the body. Is it a race car? I don't know. And then I looked underneath, and it says what? Morris Mini. Where the hell's the rest of it? Um, did it come like this? And if you were a kid and you, you had a thing for Morris Minis or Mini Coopers or something like that and you wanted a Hot Wheels car and mom brought you this and said, hey, here you go, here's the Morris Mini you wanted and you'd be like, where's the rest of it? Where's the body? Did it come like this? Did you buy it like this? So confused right now. Uh, um, you know, again, I bought this out of a, I, I got this out of a bin that I had bought filled with kids' toys. And was the kid some kind of evil genius who was working on some kind of prototype that included the body, or included the chassis of a Morse Mini and just threw the body away? And he's working on some kind of stock car racer thing or, or, or what? Um, it's like everything's there except the Morris. I don't know. I don't know. Let me know what you, if you know anything. And here we have a Matchbox Cadillac hearse white. Okay. Cool, right? Does anyone think there's something missing from this? I mean, it's a plain Jane old Cadillac white hearse. But what do you think of when you think of old Cadillac white hearses? You think of Ghostbusters. You think of the Ecto-1, the most one of the most famous cinematic vehicles of all time, right? But this is just the hearse. This is like pre-Ecto. And I, I just don't understand why they would make this uh, Matchbox or Hot Wheels. Matchbox. Matchbox would make this without the sirens and, and everything else. Um, because if you were a kid, you'd get this and you'd just feel gypped. It's like, okay, it looks like the Ecto-1, but where's the rest of it? It's just the plain hearse. I would feel so robbed if I was a kid and I got this. Again, it's a cool model if Ghostbusters never existed. But I see this and I just, I want the Ghostbusters Ecto-1, damn it. Instead, I got this. So gypped. You know what? I, I'm, I'm not done picking on China. Hello, gorgeous. Look at that. Huh? What do we have here? We have a car of some sort. Made in China, of course. But this design looks like it was designed by kids in the special ed classes. Look at the rear end on this thing. And the tires, this thing doesn't even roll. Like, not at all. It just scrapes the bottom. And this thing probably cost about four and a half cents to make. Some idiot bought it for a dollar at Dollar Tree and gave it to their kids. And the kid, you know, obviously stepped on it because he was pissed, like I would be. And, you know, you wanted, all you wanted was the Porsche from Hot Wheels or Matchbox, and you got this. It's just sad. Um, you, you gotta step it up, China. That's all I gotta say. Step it up. This is just crap. Okay, I have to ask you guys' help again on this one. Um, what we have here is the Hot Wheels Fast Feline or Felion or Felion, something like that. Uh, here's the thing about it this thing is sticky and you can see there's decals all over this thing 
and it's sticky. I mean, like, gross sticky. So was there like a place set that Hot Wheels had where you could put your own stickers all over the cars? Because this kid plastered them all over this thing. And then probably dropped it on the carpet and picked up all the dog hair. Because I don't know if you can see it, but this thing's covered in hair. Because it's sticky. It's like somebody was playing with this while eating a cheeseburger or something. It's gross. Maybe it's baby vomit. I don't know. Um, and there's another one, too. Look at this. Uh, same thing. Stickers all over the windshields. Just all over. And, again, sticky. Um, so, I, I, if you know of some reason that there would have... That this thing would have fast feline lefelian stickers all over it um let me know in the comments and uh that's enough head scratching for now um again this has been uh cars make you go hmm part three part four is probably coming up because i still got a few over here that i have to deal with yet um so until then uh if you liked like if you would like a lot subscribe and we'll see you soon.